Miss PH here. So today I'm going to show you a fun Easter craft that you can make with using socks. So we're going to create no sew sock bunnies. So this is what you need and this is how you do it. Let's go. Okay, so you will need, first of all, a sock. I've got a little sock, but you can use whatever sock you like. You can use a fluffy sock, you can use a big sock, you can use a multicolour sock, it depends. But whatever colour sock you choose is whatever colour your bunny is going to be. Now, it has to be an old sock because you are going to cut your sock, so make sure it's an old sock that you're not going to wear again. You will need three little pieces of string or wool. You need some scissors. You will need something to tie with, so you might want to use more string or I, or you might want to use little elastic bands, but I've got two little hair bands. And then you will need some kind of stuffing. I've got cotton wool balls, but you could use kitchen roll, you could use toilet roll, you could use other socks that you're not going to use, just something that you can stuff your socks with. So, the first thing you are going to do is you're going to get your sock and you're going to stuff it so you've got almost hmm, about a third full so I'm going to stuff it so I think I might have stuffed mine too much. I'm just going to take a little bit out of it. There we go. So I've got about a third stuffed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to push it down so it's quite rounded. And I'm going to take one of my hair bands or your elastic band or whatever you're tying with and I'm going to tie up my bunny. And at this point, you can squeeze it round make it nice and round okay so now you will have your bunny's belly so you're going to do exactly the same thing again but with less so it's a smaller bubble and that's going to make your bunny's head Now I'm going to do exactly what I did before, take my tying equipment, and I'm using the elastic hairband, I'm going to tie it up, okay so now I've got the belly and the head of my bunny, as you can see it's a bit floppy at the minute so I'm just going to push it down and see if I can tighten it and squeeze it in because the tighter you squeeze it down the sturdier and the stronger it will be and the better shape it will hold there we go so now I've got the body and the belly now what I'm going to do is I am going I'm going to cut my ears so the top I'm going to get my scissors, I'm going to turn upside down so it's easier to see. I'm going to cut in both sides, so I've got both in. And I'm not going to cut all the way down to the bottom. Then, so now it looks like this, I'm going to go from that bottom bit all the way up. And that nice rounded bunny ear shape. And there you go. Now I've got my bunny bed, my bunny face, and my bunny ears. Now, what you can do is you can decorate your bunny how you like. So your little pieces of string, you may have guessed what they're for, are for your bunny's whiskers. So you can pop those on and you can glue them on. You can sellotape them on. 
you could sew them on if you're feeling extra adventurous. And you could draw some eyes on your bunny. So I'm going to draw some eyes on my bunny. There they are. And you could give your bunny some tea. I'm colouring mine on you could stick bits of felt on. You could attach other pieces of fabric on. You could put another sock on. You could do what you like. So there you have it. Now I think I want a little nose holding that on. So I wanted a nose. I could thread a bead onto here and make it my nose and stick that on there. So there you go. There you have a sock bunny. So I hope you like my sock bunny. My sock bunny's teeth are a little terrifying. I think it might be a bit too big. Do you know what would look great with some googly eyes on this bunny? So have fun. Let me see what you get up to and let me see your bunnies. Can you create a whole family of bunnies? We've cut up one sock there's probably another sock unless it was an odd sock to go with it so can you make two how can you make them different and i look forward to seeing them bye